I don't want to stop, man. I just want to keep going. Oh, shoot. A spoiler. Guys, don't forget, t-shirts and hoodies on sale now. Worldwide shipping, fan fiber. Link below. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slab Train. Welcome, guys. Forza Motorsport 6 is on the channel for today. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Slab, hold on a second. Is this the demo? Now, man, we have the full version here today. We have an early access to Forza Motorsport 6 thanks to the team over at Turn 10. So, big, big thank you to everybody over there, man. We have Forza 6 in all its glory, man. We have the full version. There are some things that I cannot show you guys until the game drops, but we do have access to do a drift build, man. We have given the green light to do our very first drift build here on the channel. I know what you guys are thinking right now. Slap, are you going to be doing this SC300 that we see in front of us? Because if so, it's already upgraded. No, that's not, that's not the plan for today, ladies and gentlemen. We have something totally different on our agenda and something that a lot of people have been requesting man this has been all over the forums for so long all over comments all over videos you know what i'm saying people want to see this car get done more than any other car at least in my opinion man let me know your thoughts in the bottom when you see it i'm gonna go nice and slow through these menus for you guys just to take it all in man because i know i was when i first seen it now really quickly here we're going to go over the car list a little bit later, but there is one in particular that I want to drive, man. You guys guessed it, the 2015 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. 707 horsepower of V8 goodness, man. This is going to be absolutely monstrous. 6.2 liter supercharged. Oh, my God. Well, without further ado, though, man, let's get right into this build for today. And I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday, man. If you guys want to see more Forza Motorsport 6, do not hesitate, man. Slap that like button. Now, in terms of the colors, I got to say the colors on Forza 6 absolutely pop, man. They pop in every way now, especially when you got a full-on HD TV. It is ridiculous, man. Now, they have added in some new colors as well, too. This white right here is one of them. We have the black in, uh, I'm not even going to try to say that, man. Priz Prisma color, actually. Prisma color, if I do say so. Uh, we have some new carbon fiber, which just looks brand new because it looks all polished, man. It looks absolutely crazy. We did get some new camouflage designs, which we saw in the demo. Realistic camo snow. Uh, we have snow in matte. And then we have the woodland as well, too, which I actually really like. And probably I'm going to use that for something very soon now we have some really nice steel paint jobs that do have some funky designs on them myself i like it for the whole car eh, not really right now at least not really now we do have a zinc paint job which i thought was really interesting um that was pretty damn cool but for today though we got to go with the manufacturer colors man these to me just do the car justice Seventy-five thousand dollars for this hellcat I think it's an investment, man. I think it's going to be a good buy. We're going to be using this thing a hell of a lot. I can already guarantee it. And we're going to be doing some career mode um, later on in the next coming this days. So make sure you guys come back, man. 15 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Ooh, ooh, okay, girl. Appreciate it. I know what you guys are thinking right now. Slap. Hit that Forza Vista, man. That's what we're going to do quickly here. And have a look. We have full detailed interiors with... The engine, man, absolutely crazy. Just look at that Hemi, man. Oh, my God. 6.2 liter, like I said, V8 supercharged Hemi with a 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic. Top speed around 199 miles an hour. It's going to be a beast, man. 275s in the front, 275s in the rear, weighing in at just over 41 hundred pounds man it's a big girl i'm not gonna lie it's a real big girl and i am really thinking about driving this stock first to get a feel for it and then dive right in to the build let's have a quick seat in this girl man look at this thing oh man that srt on the wheel just looks vicious look at it oh i know what you're thinking right now slab just start the damn thing man just start it all right all right hold up hold up hold up Oh, 
Oh! You, I don't know if you guys are ready for this right now, man. Here we go. Sounds gorgeous. Look at this interior. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They have done it again on this game, man. They have absolutely done it again. And with more Auto Vista than Forza 5. I'm pretty sure every single one of these cars has its own Forza Vista, which is just, it's remarkable, man. It's absolutely remarkable. And I cannot wait to dive into more of these as we continue to play along. But the detail in this game is something that we have seen in Forza 5. Yes, because it is an absolutely astonishing game. You know, they did this back in Forza 5. But in Forza 6 now, though, they have polished it. They have made everything pop. They have made this game what fans have already wanted, but they have just done it even better with more content, more tracks, more cars, more things to do. This game is going to be ridiculous, man. This is going to be a contender for game of the year. Oh my god, man. I cannot believe it. You've seen it here first, September 4th with the Hellcat, man. Let's get a quick test drive on this car, and we're going to see how she goes, man. Let's go. Here we are, guys. Rio de Janeiro full circuit for this Hellcat, man. We got a lot of road that we can tear up with this thing. We have our Thrustmaster TM28 rim add-on, our TX base, TH8A shifter. Oopsie, my bad. Threw it right out of gear on that thing, man. Our T3PA panels at the bottom and our Wheel Stand Pro holding all of this stuff together, man. Now, right off the bat, um, we are getting a lot of wheel spin coming through third and fourth, man. Oh my god, that was crazy. We go for our first initiation with this thing. Don't fail me, baby! Oh my god, that is nice. That is nice, man. We did crack our right tail light, unfortunately. That's a disappointment right there. But I will say, though, this thing you do not want to get stuck full throttle coming around some of those corners because it will make you spin man i almost had to uh almost had to recover that one there thankfully oh my god just a tap man now this is the full circuit of rio and uh i gotta say this cockpit is very intimidating with this wheel right now and i don't want to step on the gas too hard because really, I don't know what to expect coming up some of these sections, man. But we are getting hella close to these guardrails, though. Damn. Now, right off the bat, I can definitely see some things that I do want to touch up. One of which is going to be the differential, for sure. That is stopping us from really holding out some of these corners. Oh, man. I don't know how big this thing is. No! Oh, okay. Well, that's what I wanted to do, slow them, man. Slow them to the pylons. Hell yeah. Perfect. All right. Oh, man, look at that. This is Brazil. That is dope, man. Look at all the hang gliders up there. Oh, my God. That is too sick, man. This game is going to be one hell of a Forza. I can already tell you that right now, man. This is what fans wanted from the Xbox One launch, man. We have it now. We have all these cars, all these tracks. This is money. You guys have not bought your Forza 6 yet, man. Hopefully this video will entice you enough because this game is fantastic, man. If you're a fan of racing, woohoo, shit. You know what I'm saying? And no, I didn't get paid to say any of this stuff, man. I bought my full game. Don't worry about that, boo-boo. I already bought this thing. Let me hold her! Come on, big girl! Oh! Damn, we can hold her right to the damn tires, though. Definitely gonna loosen up some of this weight, man. We're gonna trim the fat by hopefully at least, I wanna say, 500. And uh, we're gonna throw on some racing suspension on here. Just pretty much make this thing uh, drift spec ready is really what we're gonna do. And try to hold some little bit better corners on here and hopefully come out with a flawless lap is gonna be my ideal goal for this build for today. Ooh, come on, hold that, girl. Ah, I'm trying to clutch kick that fourth gear. No go. Still got the good drift, though. I'll take it. Yes. 
I'm not shifting, man. No shifts. Oh, she's all over the road, man. She's all loose. We're going to have to tighten her up as well, too. That was a ride and a half here on Forza 6 with our brand new SRT Hellcats. Oh, my God, dude. Uh-oh. The test drive is done. We have a good feel for the car. Now, we're going to go ahead and throw some upgrades on here. And I got to say, that stock drive on that 707 horsepower was scary, man. Those corners were very treacherous. Sometimes, I didn't even know if I was going to make it, to be completely honest. And we're definitely not taking off that spoiler. One thing, though, that you will realize in this is that uh, the cars will... Or, sorry, the menus are so much faster man you can go through these menus now like you could back on forza 4 um and really just plow through some of these now for tires we are going to go with maybe a 325 i think i think that sounds about right sounds good now rims i know what you guys are thinking man slap what kind of rims we got here right now have a quick look at the rims not too many new ones unfortunately um but hopefully they will be added in at a later time i'm pretty sure these are all new rims right here and they look vicious man i love these uh, we have a couple, I think, new ones right here with the Momos. And where else are we here, man? We got a couple other new ones around here. I don't know, man. I wish I had, like, a new feature right on the, you know, the side of it saying that it's brand new to the series. But it doesn't, unfortunately. Now, I know what you're thinking, man. Slap, there's no BBS reps from Forza Horizon 2, man. I know, I know. I'm, I'm hoping, man. I, I want my BBSs back for that Honda CRX that they have added into the game. I really do. And we decided to go with the R25s. Personally, I like the five stars, man. I really do. Um, and that is about it for here. So let's go with the speed now, man. We're just going to go through this just to show you guys how fast these can be done and upgraded for one car. Remember back in Forza Horizon 2 and Forza 5, I was a little bit sluggish. You know, it would take some loading to get to everything. Um, right now, it is very smooth. There's no kind of delay whatsoever. Everything is crisp. Everything is clean. There's no lagging. Oh my god, man. We can now build cars again at a faster rate than what we were able to. Man. I really did hate having to wait through those load times and such. Brings it down to 30... What was that, 3,200? Holy chit! 3,385. That brought us down to. Oh my god, that is nice, man. That is real nice. Now, horsepower, obviously, we have a lot of it. Do I want to go ahead and just completely beef this thing up? I mean, I don't know. We are going to do a full out drive, though. I'll tell you that right now. We are doing a full drive with this thing. But for right now, though, I kind of want to just drive it um, as it sits with just, you know, the horsepower that we have which is going to be 835 with our racing supercharger and our racing intercooler. That's it. I want to drive it stock. Right now, we have everything done up to performance and handling and drivetrain, sorry, um, and our rims and tires. So personally, I think this is going to be really nice, man. Let's give this a shot. All right, we're back, and we are going to do some business right here. Look at that. No more delay in the pedals. That supercharger is right there for us. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Now one thing though, I do hope that they allow us to move our head up a little bit uh, so we can see it maybe a little bit more of the road. Because right here you can see that hand kind of comes right in the way of the road itself. So I don't know man. Personally, I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But we got a slide man. This is stock 2 right here though. Just upgrades so far. even more scarier than last time. I didn't know that was possible. Jeez. Look at that. Just peeling. Wow. Wow. Okay. What I want to do, though, before we go any further is throw a little tune on here and see what we can do. Make... I mean, look at this. First and second gear is so quick. Oh my god, man. We're going to try and space this out a little bit more. Uh, get a little bit more pull in each gear. I'm personally more of a, you know, second to third, maybe fourth gear drifter myself. Um, that's just the kind of the way that I go with things. Now, personally, uh, this front end, what do we want to do with this front tire? Let's go with uh, negative two on the rear, negative 0.2 on the front. And then we're going to give it a little bit more toe. And caster, we're going to bring up to about six. 
Uh, let's see what we want to do with this here. We're going to loosen up, actually, that rear end just a bit. Just a bit. But we're going to go ahead and tighten up this front end just a little bit more and see if that can help us out a little bit. We're going to loosen that rear just ever so, man. Not too much. We don't want to make it too too damn loose here, but I think that's I think that's good for right now. Differential, though. Here we go. We're going to lock it up at 100-100, and we're going to see what the difference is with that. I don't, I don't know, man. It's going to be scary shit, though. I'll tell you that. Wow. I can't even keep her on the road right now. I could do a standstill last time. Not this time, though. She'll just take off. Oh, look at the rubber. Damn. This thing is scary. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, just the top, man. Thankfully, we didn't lose that spoiler. That fourth gear is allowing us just to rip out that rear end. You can see those tires. They're just losing traction. They're sliding out just enough that we can get that rear end out, which is exactly what I wanted with this build. Oh, man, I love this car, man. I didn't think I was going to love this car as much as I did, and I've seen all the hype. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just a challenger. I mean, we can build it. But, uh, you know, now seeing this in person in Forza 6. Woo! It's scary, man. It is a handful. If you guys are on a wheel, it is a handful and a half. But it's nice, though. It's really controlled. If you can really control this, it will just play wherever you want it to, man. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Transitions now are money. We took off that front camber, remember? Yeah, I think zero on the front, or like negative 0.2. Something minute. It's very small. Don't hit the tires! Whew. Jeez! It's a lot of money right there. I'm so sorry. Wow. We're going to drift right through this here. Yep. Whoop! Tail tap these tires. Or body tap, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. Wow, this has been an experience here on Forza Motorsports 6, guys. Like I said, if you want to see more, don't forget to slap that like button if you have not already. Come on, fourth. Ah, we got to just shrink that fourth gear just a bit. I do in fifth gear, man. Why not? I don't want to stop, man. I just want to keep going. Oh, shoot. A spoiler. What the? Oh, man. I love that thing. All right. You know what? We got to go back. We're going to do a max build on this Hellcat, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, I don't know, man. I really don't know, but I got to say that felt amazing. With that build, man. With the upgrades, with the horsepower, car was perfect. Oh, man. I can't wait to get the tandems online, man. I got goosebumps. All right, so what I just did is save that setup so that way uh, I can go back to that after I do the full upgrade on here because this is going to be crazy. I don't know how much horsepower we're going to get out of this. I really don't. I will say, though, that my money at the top right-hand corner um, probably won't be there for very much longer, man. I only have $6.8 million. It sounds like a lot of money. But uh, in theory, though, it's going to go very, very fast once I keep going with these builds, man. It's going to be crazy how fast our money drains. Now, we are already at, I think we broke 1,000, if I'm not mistaken. Did we? Oh, not yet. 898. That was foot pounds of torque. Never mind. What's our... <gasps> we have 1,047 horsepower on this Hellcat. I oh, man. I'm not ready for this. 1,000 horsepower on this Challenger Hellcat. Oh my god, man. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Here we go, though. We're going to try to keep this on the road as much as possible with trying to get a little bit sideways as we do so. So we're going to see how this goes. We already broke a taillight, man. 
tail light tapper over here. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. That little wall tap just kind of flung us into the other wall, though. Damn. Each gear now, no issues with spinning out. Look at that. Oh, we're still peeling. Cannot lose traction in the tunnel, man. That's death. Oh, boy. Oh, it's so scary coming through some of these, man. Especially with the limited space that we have. Driving this big ass challenger. This is crazy. Come on. Yes. We got her. No lift. No lift. Yes. We, we, we got a lift right there. But it worked. It worked. Oh my god. This is a thrill, man. This is crazy. Now, for everybody wondering, we are on 900 degrees with about, I think, 84 force feedback on here. Now, what I've done on my control panel on my PC is actually brought uh, my dampening and my spring rate all the way down, and it's gone. And I feel like it's just it's so much better, man. Spitzy and Destroyers have done it. They told me about it, and uh, I, I think it works absolutely fantastic with Forza 6 myself. But let me know your thoughts. If you're on a wheel, have you adjusted your control panel at all? And let me know how that went. All right, so we've went ahead. We've tuned this thing just a little bit more. Uh, we have brought down the front camber all the way to zero, zero. And we've extended the rear to negative 3.5. I know, it's a little bit crazy. But I wanted to at least give it a shot and see how it's going to feel with this Hellcat. Uh, personally, I don't know. But we're going to definitely test it out. And we might as well just finish the track. Here we go. Damn. Look at that. You put your foot down for one second, and that rear end just wants to come out, man. It really does. Woo! It's all about that throttle control, though, man. If you can get that throttle control down, you are golden. Because usually, though, if you're full throttle, uh, the game just does not like that at all. Yes, that fifth gear, though. Damn! Whew. Don't do it. We're scraping it. I was grab that fifth gear back. Dropping the hammer. That fifth gear is golden. Oh my god, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below with this Hellcat. Um, I can't believe that we are controlling over a thousand horsepower as smoothly as we are. Personally, I'm probably going to bring back the camber down to about, I'd say, negative two or so just to get a little bit more control out of it and then maybe just readjust these gears slightly. But we'll see those. I'm actually having a blast with this new tune. I mean, we're, we're wall tapping, ass slapping. I mean, I don't know. This is crazy, man. Look at it. Oh, not the greatest thing. All right. Full throttle coming through here again. We're going to try it. Oh, man, that is a nice section. As long as you can get that properly and you just tap it, you don't go into it with your door, you're usually fine. Wow, this is an extremely nice car once you get it done right, man. A little bit of throttle control, and you're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Forza Motorsport 6 on the channel for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to slap that like button. Comment down below which car you'd like to be seen done. We're going to be doing this all the way up to the release of Forza Motorsport 6, guys. So do not worry about that. We're going to try to get a lot of cars done. And we're going to be doing a little bit of the career mode as well, too. So I'm pretty hyped on that. Damn, man. My front end. Look at that. We took out a light. Those lights are probably not expensive, man. Oh, my God. If you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today and start spinning 
someday and level with us as well too you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are little geeks are found in the description box down below i'm getting overzealous with this throttle man just getting throttle hungry i keep spinning it out ah there we, ah, there we go take it on some tires i cannot wait to start tire tapping some of these tracks oh my god ladies and gentlemen your motor slap train here with forza motorsport 6 september 4th man you seen it here first hopefully anyway dodge hellcats oh my god i thought that was a little section right there i was about to go in it we'll park it there man we'll park it we'll tail tap it your motor slap train i'm out peace